Hey everyone, here we are at Anderson Pens. I'm Eric, and with me today is Steph. Steph, how are you? I am well, and yourself? I'm excellent. It's been a while. It it's has probably been about a, while. a, bit, of a bit about a month. Yeah. I'm glad you're back. As uh, you can probably tell, today Steph is here because, you know, I wore my orange shirt. We're talking about her top five orange inks. What are you going to tell me it's not orange? I What's was that gonna, dot? What's that dot? I was going to try to claim that my shirt was orange. Okay. See if you called me on it. We're both wearing orange. Both. Yes. Uh, we've done some of your top five inks before. Different colors. I forget what they were. Did we do we've greens? We've done pink. We've done greens. Uh, and we've done turquoise. Teal turquoise. Teal turquoise. And, and now For orange. some reason, we're going to orange, uh, which is, you know, I don't know much about orange. The only thing I know about orange is that it's a happy shade of brown. That's what I call it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I have a favorite orange. We'll do see you if, now? We'll see if you have selected that. You actually pushed me in that direction, so it's probably oh, one of yours, I think too. I know which one you're talking about that now. That What's, was my first favorite orange, actually. Are you doing these in any particular order? Lightest to darkest? Um, oh, did we accidentally do lightest to darkest? We might. I'm going from... From left to first right. First to last. Okay. I can see the first one. <laughs> Alrighty. Yes. Our first ink is a ink that I own personally, that I, I think... Maybe it was the first ink I ever bought a bottle. Or no, ever? the first really? orange ink that I have ever bought a bottle of. And it is, of course. That is Sandler Ink Studio 173. Also known as Ink Bottle Dude. Indeed, I have expected to tell have me have a him joke. Tell, he should probably tell a joke right now. Yeah. Rumor, rumor has it that... Oh, you're going to talk through his joke? That's fine. I'm sorry. What do you like about this? I interrupted him. <laughs> I'm very rude. What do you like about this ink? See, it's so, kind of pale, peachy to me. Yeah, yeah, it is. I got really excited when Sailor first uh, released the Ink Studio series because there were a couple of those inks that shaded from one color to another, and there was one, two, three, and I was on a hunt to find all of them. And this was the first one that ever just blew my mind because it starts out as like this light peachy kind of cool orange, and then it shades to pink. And I thought that was just crazy. How can an ink possibly do that? It defies the laws of science. It blows my mind. I love it. I still don't understand why these dual shading inks that Sailor has been putting out do this, do this lately, but it, the novelty has not worn off. It I is it a, so a, a beautiful and interesting ink. Uh, I don't know that I would use it in a fine nib. Uh, it doesn't... This, this word is fine for me, um, yeah. but I think a little more ink came out of the nib on that word. Um, <laughs> yeah, the inkier words here are nice and dark and very clear. There are some spots where the ink gets a little thinner and it can become a little bit difficult to read. So I would really only use this for like casual note taking or um, like artwork. It would be really wonderful for artwork since it kind of covers that like Caucasian skin tone part of the color spectrum, which is not it's, something it's that we find very artistic. very often. Uh, I think it would do well in my Parker 51 one that has a medium nib because yeah. it's kind of a, a wet nib and puts mm -hmm. a little extra ink on the table, mm -hmm. on the table, on the paper. And I might have to try it because you have a bottle of this. Yes. You're going to help me up with a sample, aren't you? I, yeah, yeah. I do want to mention that I think of all the inks you're going to, is this the only ink studio you're going to have? This is the only ink Spoiler studio. Spoiler alert. Uh, they are the ones that come with the stickers for your converter, uh, which I really enjoy because really I can cool. never remember what ink I... Well, not all, not never, but I just made a swab of That's an ink right. for you, you because I don't me. know what that mm -hmm. ink is. But see, if you didn't forget which inks you had in your pens, I would have so much less fun. I get to guess his inks when he oh, forgets. Well, we what can play that game has. anytime you like. That's I true. Like. I guess you, then we would know if I'd gotten the answer right. That's true. Okay, number one is a peachy orange, yes. uh, Ink Bottle Dude, uh, Sailor, Sailor Ink Studio 173. Indeed. So far, that's my favorite one of all your five inks. Oh, well, that's our, we've got a good, uh, we're, <laughs> we're off to a good a, start. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. This next ink, I was a little bit nervous about doing right next to 173. It's also a Sailor Ink. It's part of their 50 States series. And I was not sure whether it was going to be like the exact same color as 173 or whether it would do its own thing. I can tell you right now it is not the same color as 173. I found that I I, I found that to be true. This is this Sailor is Ink Studio or Sailor 50 States, Arizona. Arizona. Now there's a definite difference here between Arizona and 173. What what is the difference that I'm seeing, Steph? What is the name of it? Is it redder? 
It is, it, I think it's a little bit darker okay. overall and a little bit more saturated. More so saturated. It is, okay. I think it is probably redder. It's also, you know, orange. It's, it's very close to uh, what I would call true orange. Your mm -hmm. big splotches there look very orange. Yes, yes. It's a little bit more practical for everyday writing purposes, I think. Uh, it's all, all around a little bit more legible, although the dual shading, it does have the same sort of dual shading properties that Sailor 173 has, which is really what I wanted to find out. I was pleased to find that it still kind of goes from that yellowish tone to that sort of more cool uh, reddish orange. Yes, and it's not as pronounced as 173 though. Yeah, yeah, 173, 173 sits in the middle and turns like yes. pink, and it's very clear and defined. I like the, the where it goes pink is very, it draws your eye. It draws yeah. your eye. Yeah, it's, it's a real fun color. I just love that subtlety. However, I I'm not sure 173 in my mind would qualify as orange. Although, what else would it be? Yeah, yeah, maybe peach. Peach. And I would have a hard time doing my top five and, peach inks because I don't know, even know that Whereas they are Arizona five. is definitely orange. Uh, but I'm still going to have to say 173 is my favorite. It's, even though I'm going to say it's probably more of a peach, but it's more interesting. That shocks me, but I, I, can, <laughs> I can follow your logic here. Hmm? Uh, oh, I guess it's of the two, it is my favorite because it is more interesting. There's nothing wrong with Arizona that is a cool mm. ink. Yeah, it also, it made me smile because it really does look like, uh, what is it, Antelope Canyon, that, that national park in Arizona mm -hmm. with all of the crazy dunes that people always take really beautiful photographs of. That's, it, it actually totally looks like they, they took a photo. They stole and just the color from stole there. The colors, yeah. Stole mm -hmm. the colors. They borrowed. Did. We'll say borrowed. Oh, I suppose. They might give it back. Are we going to stay with Sailor? All to all five of your... It is not all... We, we are not all all Sailor inks all day long today. Okay. Maybe maybe one day. Uh, this next one is an upset, actually. An upset. This is... It might be my favorite of the lot. Oh. But I was, I was not expecting... I, I didn't know what to expect from this ink. Top one orange ink might be this one. Might be... Schaefer Retro Sunset. Dun, I was dun, not expecting dun. that. That's right. Can I see uh, the ink? I what, suppose the... you could see it if you like. Let's oh, see here. very see. vibrant. It's a very red orange. I was gonna say red. Mm -hmm. Red popped to my mind. Yeah, yeah. Very legible. Mm -hmm. Very legible. Extremely legible. I mean, you've just made me look at, I guess, mm -hmm. pale or unsaturated. This one's very saturated. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is a vibrant in your face. Here I am orange ink it definitely leans more toward the red yeah it's really getting close mm -hmm. to it it's mm -hmm. it's lovely though yeah and oh it was just a joy to write with the flow was amazing it actually shades in both of the directions that i really like i like inks that shade sort of up the letter where you get you know half the top half of the word is a darker color and the top half is the like lighter end of the shading spectrum but it also halos out towards the edges it is like all of the things that i love in a beautiful shading ink and super super legible wonderful flow i i tried this in a regular modern pen for the purposes of this ink review and it was so good that i turned around and immediately put it into my vintage shafer that brian just restored for me the snorkel? Mm hmm. Oh. And it works well. Well, Schaefer, they've, they've been making ink for quite a while. And, yeah, they have and this had some bottle practice. is really cool because it's got the little side well on it. I mean, how mm. could I not? If I've got the snorkel filler, That's true. you have That's to. Exactly. You, you have you to take right. the, the little nest ink bottles. It's I'm so gonna cool. I'm going to have trouble now saying which is my favorite. Do I have to decide of these three? I th 173. Mm. Wasn't Tough. too hard. Fun too hard. You, you are. It, allowed to use any and all of them. Schaefer is the most legible mm -hmm. of these three so far, but 173 is the most interesting. That That is fair. And, and Arizona is the most orange. Mm -hmm. There we go. I, I can like something about each of these. Yeah. Where yeah. are we going now? Next. Next up, let's see. An ink that I know you are familiar with. Oh, I recognize this ink. Yes, we have Now, when you, when you hold this, this is one of my favorite oranges, mm -hmm. but when you put it in a, in a row like this and hold it next to these other ones, it's really leaning brownish. It is. No wonder I say orange is a shade of brown. It definitely is. I mean, 
What is it, if not brown with less green in it? <laughs> that I don't know. But this is, of course, Caveco. Is it sunrise or sunset? Sunrise. Sunrise orange. Maybe they'll come out with sunset orange one day. That might be somebody else's ink. <laughs> um, this is what I have in my Vanishing Point orange crush. Ah. Uh, and if you remember, I said I got the pen and I said I'm. I said I am looking for an orange that is not too dark, not too bright, that says orange but doesn't scream it. And you said, without even thinking, why don't you try Caveco Sunrise Sunset Orange? Mm -hmm. And it's perfect. Yep, this was the first orange ink that I ever used. I had it in my, in my. Oh, it's hard, <laughs> hard to even mention it. <laughs> Would it my be Sailor a Sailor Nineteen Eleven <laughs> standard in slate? Anderson pen slate gray, mm -hmm. the one, the pen they got away. May it be lost in peace. Yes. I'm sure that someone found it and they're using it. And, and they love it they so love much. It. Yes, yes. Yes. I lost a pen, guys. <laughs> really? Tell us all about it. Tell us about this ink. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and in the pen that I lost, actually, it might have been, it might have had this ink in it when I lost it. When you lost mm -hmm. it. Well. And it's, it's just a beautiful orange. It is just exactly, it's not too bright. It's not right. too, but it's not too light so that you can really use it in absolutely any circumstance. It has excellent flow. It drives, drives fast. That's what surprised me the most is because we were just simply chatting that day and I had the pen and I said, I'm looking for an orange that is not too dark, not too bright. Uh, what did I say? That says orange, but doesn't scream it. And you said this one and it is exactly what I described. I think when I was originally looking for an ink for that pen, I was basically looking but for those exact criteria. Oh, I just thought you kept all the criteria of every ink that's sold in your head and could pick that out. I should try that a few more times to see how quick your database responds. This sounds like fun. I, <laughs> I, I, and, and I've now, chosen a lot of inks in my time. Is this your favorite of the four we've talked about? I, because this, this is the first orange you used. I think every one of these inks has been my favorite at some point at some in point. time. This was... Currently you're on Schaefer. Yes, that's the one that shocked me. Okay. I was not sure what to expect because I had never tried a Schaefer ink, and I know this is a... I um, keep going back to 173. I'm going to stick with it. It's just, it's really cool. But I can already see what you have there, and that is a long time favorite of many, many people. I, I had heard that, and I had never tried this last ink before. And I, I understand the hype now. Yep. I now, have see, that's taken a, darker a one too. here at Diamine Autumn Oak. Autumn Oak, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, people like, like the qualities. What did you like mm -hmm. about it? Uh, I'm sure there are plenty of people at home that are saying, of course, Steph. Of course, Steph. <laughs> no top five orange inks video would be complete without it. Could this also make a top five brown ink? Because hmm. it's kind of darkish. I think that if I put this in a lineup with brown inks, you'd tell me that's not brown. That's orange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably, probably. <laughs> but because it's here with your orange inks, I'd, I'm going to say at least a little brown. It is. It has been all over the place. This was an adventure because I had never used autumn oak. I put it in a pen. I started writing on the page and I said, oh, no, this ink is brown. And then it started drying and I said, oh, no, this ink is red. <laughs> and then it finished drying and suddenly it's orange. But yeah, it's this People really like nice, this ink. It's yeah. a fun ink. It's got some fun complexity to it. I just, I don't, it's a little tough to describe because it's, it's a very red orange, but it has a cooler feel to it than our Schaefer, which is, you know, very vibrant. It's a little bit more yeah, muted. This one is more relaxed. Mm -hmm. You're going to read something serious or write something serious. Oh, if, yes. With this ink. Yes, I, I think uh, over here, thoughts when I'm writing with this I ink. I think it got a little yellowish over there. Yeah, um, I was starting to, I think, write a little bit faster near the end of that page. Mm -hmm. It and has lots of color to it. Yeah, it's where it's real, real dark, it looks red, and then it kind of goes through some brown muted shades, and then it almost feels yellow right at the end there. And it's it just looks beautiful in these you big know what swatches, it, You know too. what it looks like? It looks like autumn oak. Oh! you probably find all those colors, too, in in like if you're looking oak. at an oak tree yeah, exactly. in, the in the autumn or something. Probably a well-named ink. Yeah, well -named. yeah. I'm going to have to pay attention. Okay, I'm going months. to make a selection of my favorite, but it's only going to be uh, valid for the, till the end of today. Oh, uh, is something happening tomorrow? I'm going to change my mind tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, and for today, I'm going with uh, Sailor Ink Studio 173. Okay. Because that's the one that surprised me the most, is the most interesting, and the one I want to try right now. Ooh. And in fact, I know somebody that yeah, can hook you I'm, up. I'm, I'm going to get mm -hmm. a sample from you. So one recap, it was Sailor Ink Studio 173. 
Mm -hmm. uh, ink bottle dude. It was Sailor 50 States Arizona, which was a little darker. Ink bottle dude's cousin. Yeah. Uh, Schaefer, what did you call her? The color? Schaefer Retro Sunset. Retro Sunset, yes. Uh, and then we had Caveco Sunrise Sunset Orange. <laughs> which is it? Sunrise. Sunrise. And then Autumn Oak by Diamine. I don't think we ever said Diamine. We just said Autumn Oak. But it's okay. If we say Autumn Oak, everyone knows what we're talking about. It's one of it's those artists Diamine. that only needs one yes. name. Or two. Autumn Oak. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Um, and that's what the bottle looks like. I don't know if we ever held that up. Oh, lo and behold. Really nice bottle. Yes. Uh, I think it's 80. Is I it 80 it, mil? Yes, it is the biggest bottle of 80. the bottles that we've discussed. Nice and flat and mm -hmm. can't tip. Uh, is the opening a little small, maybe? I don't well, know. Probably Let's see. Let's I think... see. Let's find out. It's probably the smallest that we have here. Yeah. Although if 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 you've got a pen that does not fit yeah, in that opening, the you've got a very thick pen. Emperor would not fit in there, but that's not how you fill the emperor, so it doesn't matter. Precisely. Precisely. Mm -hmm. uh, Precisely. What color is next? What color? Oh, have we? I don't even know that uh, we've. We have not had yet. this discussion. Let's have it right here. We could do sepias, but that would maybe be too similar. No, to let's orange. go. Something uh, happy. happy. Happy? That yeah. sounds like yellow. Let's do yellow. All right. We're going to do it sometime. Let's do it now. Might as well. Yellow for next time. Uh, thank you very much. I'll uh, wear my orange shirt for yellow. Okay. You owe me an ink sample. Everybody right. heard you say that you could hook me up. That's true. It's on camera now. And I'm supposed to remind everyone to please like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And we will see you next time. Bye.